Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Jim Gardner. Among the many issues being faced by Penn State officials now, the hit to the university's image and reputation. Action News reporter David Henry takes a look at that. Public relations specialist David Neff now has mixed feelings about a football he has signed by Joe Paterno. To Dave, all the best, Joe Paterno. A lot has changed since Paterno signed that ball during Penn State's 1986 championship season. Like the football, the school's image now needs to be dusted off and reinflated. Neff says the university has handled the crisis poorly until now. The whole lack of remorse, lack of accountability, taking responsibility with the way the whole situation went down from the top to the bottom, it was just atrocious. Neff says to rehab its image, the school must demonstrate its biggest concern is the victims, then install policies to make sure it never happens again. The university's new president announced a step in that direction earlier tonight. Never again should anyone at Penn State, regardless of their position, feel scared to do the right thing. Neff says he would embark on a new Penn State public relations campaign. It might start with TV and print ads, apologizing to the victims and their families. Then he says the school should make clear its primary focus is education. Making sure that the well-being of the students and the education of the students is the most important thing moving forward. Neff says rebuilding Penn State's image won't be easy. I don't think that this is going to uh, come and go very quickly. The Nittany Lion will endure, but Neff says the university may even want to consider retiring that stylized lion logo for something new and fresh. David Henry, Channel 6 Action News. And we invite you to stay with 6abc.com for continuing coverage throughout the weekend, including the football game against Nebraska tomorrow. It goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. You can count on Action News for all the latest developments.